Well, I don't know where to start exactly, except to say that I am six months into my um, natural hair care journey, restoring my natural gray. And um, I've had some challenges along the way. Also, um, I want to talk to you about a uh, detangler leave-in conditioner that I have been using. But first, let me get to the other part. I have been feeling really, really tired. Like, I don't know if you've ever been to a point where you felt so tired that you were sick, like you were going to vomit, you know, or something like that. Just exhausted. And I didn't know why that was. Anyway, when we came back from our trip in uh, another part of Canada, if you saw my RV videos, you'll know about that. Um... I decided to, to go to the doctor, you know, let my husband go to the doctor as well. So we went to go to the doctor. Anyway, while we were sitting there, they decided, him and the doctor, that they should do some routine tests on me as well. So they did some routine tests on me. And we got a call back in about two days. And um, Needless to say, my husband was just petrified because when the doctor calls, you was like, oh, my God, you know. Well, the doctor calls back and they wanted to see me in the office. So I go into the office and he says, your blood is low. Uh, I have never, ever been anemic in my life. So I don't know if this has something to do with my getting older, um, my diet. I don't know. I have been trying to eat more fruits and vegetables and stuff like that, but maybe it's not been the right type of vegetable, more leafy greens, I guess I need. Anyway, so my blood is a little low, which explained the fatigue. Now, I've had this happen before, but not because of anemia. It was because of uh, moving from a very, very sunny, dry climate in the United States to a very uh, wet, uh, overcast climate in Canada. Uh, and it did it depreciated my vitamin D levels, which works as a hormone, right? Affects your bones and your fatigue level and all that. So they did put me on vitamin D3 supplements because of that. Well, my D3 is fine. I mean, you know, though my vitamin D levels were fine. My uh, iron levels were low. So, <laughs> so, um... Rather than him give me some type of a supplement for that, he just decided to tell me he wanted me to eat uh, a lot of spinach and throw in some mandarin oranges because you need the folic acid to break down the iron uh, so that it absorbs into your system. So I'm going to um, start doing that. I had started doing it. I have not been consistent because I'm not used to eating a lot of spinach and I don't think about it. So that's the one thing. So for those of you that pray, I would appreciate your prayers so that I can get on track with that because it really is a bummer when you feel like you're too tired to do anything at all. And if you know about working with natural hair, it takes a lot of time to do it. And there you go. And I don't want to fall behind on my hair care regimen because I'm, you know, so tired that I can't function. Okay, that's part one, the doctor's report. So Here's part two. Okay, so um, some of the supplements that I have been taking for the last probably two months now have been MSM, uh, it's methyl sulfinomethane, whatever. And um, this was recommended to me by a uh, holistic professional. Um, what it is, is it's a sulfur. If you've seen some of the YouTube videos of people, they take water and they take this powdered sulfur and they make a mixture and they pour it on their hair. Okay. Um, this is the same stuff, pretty much, but it's in a capsule form. Uh, not a capsule, it's in a pill form. This is Equate brand, okay, so you can get this at Walmart. Oops, there you go, you guys. Okay, so you can get this at Walmart. This is 1,000 milligrams. Um, I actually take 6,000 milligrams. I take three in the morning, and I take three in the evening. Um, and I also take this. Now, I'm not exactly sure, you know, how well this functions, uh, you know, how well or... You know, if it's really helping at all, I don't know. 
I think it might be. I think the two of them together along with, you know, trying to eat more vegetables and stuff is probably helping. This is by Nature's Bounty, Hair, Skin, and Nails. Um, gummies with biotin. I know some people say gummies. I say gummies. I've always said gummies. Anyway, the reason that I did it like this uh, is because I saw some videos where people were taking biotin and it was just biotin. And it was really causing them to have outbreaks on their face and affecting their skin. Um, so I decided I would try it this way. This is chewable. It has vitamin C in it. It has vitamin E in it. And, and biotin. Uh, 1,250 micrograms of biotin. I chew four of these in the morning. I chew four in the evening. So I haven't had any outbreaks on my face or anything like that. So I just wanted to show you that that's what I'm doing. And as a result of that, um, today is wash day, by the way. But as a result of that, my hair, and I just cut it the other day, if you remember that video. My hair is thick. It is like, <laughs> this stuff ain't no joke, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. Anyhow, it is thick. It's thick. But it's very, very soft. Now, I don't remember it ever really feeling quite this soft when it was dry. But I did cut it the other day, too. Um, and I got rid of some dead ends. Uh, an another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to be trying to take out the shedded hair without using a comb so much. Because my hair is, is while it's getting stronger because I'm using this stuff, it's very fine. And it, it breaks kind of easily because I still have the process ends. See? Wherever you see that blondish color, if you believe it, that used to be black. It was just natural black. And the color is fading because I, I'm i just letting it grow out and wear out and all that. And I haven't put any color in. I'm six months into my journey. I haven't put any color in since uh, last December. So, um, I think it's coming along, but I do still have the strings and the weird texture going on, except for at my roots. Now, where you don't see the blonde is new growth. So I've got about that much new growth, but I'm not comfortable with doing a big chop just yet because I, I don't want to look like a boy. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's my update as far as the supplements and the doctor's report and all that. Today, I'm going to be using... Beautiful Textures Tangle Taming Leave-In Conditioner on my hair. I found that I like that even better than the mango, olive oil and mango that I've been using. But I want to get rid of some of these products and I just ordered another shipment of some stuff that's going to be sent to me from the U.S. because I can't find it here. And, um, and I'll be doing that. So anyway, thank you for coming along. I don't want the video to be too long, but I wanted to let you know about the doctor's report and I want to let you know about the supplements that I'm taking, these are not enteric. I want to make sure I tell you that um, they're not enteric, meaning that they're not coated to make it go down easier. I have choked a couple of times trying to get these things down, and they are uh, they're pretty good size. So if you have problems with pills, see that's the size of this joker, okay? Um, you might want to skip that. These are chewable, all right? So this is easy. They just taste like gumdrops, a little chalky, but they do taste like gumdrops. So if you can't take pills, like I have a hard time taking pills, then you might want to consider this. And I also want to say that I'm not being paid to tell you any of that, right? I'm just telling you my experience. Anyhow, I hope you're enjoying my videos. Um, I'm slowing down to about once a week because of you know, our data usage. We have to be careful how much data we're using and we don't have Wi-Fi right now, and we won't have Wi-Fi for several months. So anyway, thank you for coming by. Please um, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, let your friends know about this. I have a video on here that talks about dealing with a uh, bad um, natural hair care salon, and uh, you really need to look at that. I also have another one that talks about wearing weaves and wigs and extensions, okay, which is important. Um, I don't do it, and in that video I explain why I don't do it. I'm not knocking anybody that does, but I'm just explaining some things to you why I don't do it, okay, because of research that I've done. All right, 
Have a good one. Thank you for coming by and I'll see you next time in my next video. Have a good day.